it freely. In Belgium, you have an organization that will make maps, but it costs 100 euros to get a map of a certain region. So if you want to go hiking, want to go into the lake, you want to know where all the footpaths and all the paths are, you have to pay 100 euros to get those cards, to get those maps. Google um, Open Street Maps can be a nice uh, way to avoid paying those paying the money, and it's fun to add the the, the way here. So, how is it? I will but you can also use Google Maps for, for your own purposes. Yes, but there are two differences. First of all, Google Maps does not contain all little ways, and I'm explaining this later. Okay. So it's not detailed enough? Well, like, it, it, one of the things is, okay, like, I'm traveling from America to here, and I, like, like, just, like, data plans for myself and, like, prohibit them. Um, like using it here, but like I want maps, so like there are apps where like they're offline maps using OpenStreetMap, so like you can still use the GPS, and like I won't get lost. And so it's like things like that, and like I don't. So OpenStreetMaps, you can. You can or you can use it however you want, and like, like no restrictions. So you can download yes, it. Yes, yes, and depends on Google Maps, it depends on which area of the map. For example, for Poland, the Google Maps are just based on the PD KW, this is a Polish company which provides maps, and the, the, the license for using the maps in Poland, Google Maps is more, more stricter than in the US, for example. So this is just. And you have to be careful using so for your own purpose is okay. But if you want to do something else more than if fair use, so then you should be very careful. And again, for instance, yes, you have a GPS device with your the open street maps downloaded on your car. Yes, but if they are downloaded, they are open street maps. So you can download it with them on your GPS. Yeah, I think like Google Maps like the past few months now it's that like well, you can use it to like do mashups like still, but they're gonna start like putting ads on your map, or you can pay them like expensive money and like have no ads. So like, like there's no ads on here. No, being able to use them offline. That's a, that's the thing. Yes. But we'll go into detail. There are different. Sorry. So you we roam around with the GPS device because at the beginning there was nothing. It's like. It was a blank map, and everything had to be uh, walked or had to be mapped. It's not like we started from something, we started really from scratch. And then you go r running around in your neighborhood. In the beginning, like I said, there's nothing, so it's very easy. Everything you walk around is new. And it gets a pattern like this, with the GPS device, like I have here. You can use them on the uh, mapping part, this, uh, this evening too. We'll, we'll get those, uh, all those dots. Of course, it's not the only thing you have to do. When you walk around, you can note certain observations like the name of the street. Is it a one-way street? Is it a residential street? Or is it a big street with four to five lanes? Those are things you can note. Not only things about the street, but if you pass a museum, or a monument, or a shop, or a something interesting to place on the map, you can add it. You can note it too. And here you can see different ways of doing it. You have guys using just paper and noting it down. You can have quite special GPS devices where you can add a point and a type of, of, of a point of interest. The best, may, the best way to do things like that is by using a record card. So we stop. Point 15 is a museum. You can give the name and when uh, analyzing the data, it's very easy. So we have close use smartphone. Yes. Yes, there are programs available for Android and iOS to talk and it's also this will be discussed and, and you know there is no problem, for example, if you go for a long journey on your bicycle, it's so then when you switch Android, for example, the phone, so it uh, will end up after three or four hours. Like in case of the typical GPS device for cycling, so you can use it for several days. And right, it's the difference, and it's much more precise than, mm -hmm. than GPS in, in cellular phone. So, but you can use it, of course. But this is this, this is going to be discussed later. So yeah. Oh, sorry. sorry. So um, you have the GPS locations, you have your observations, and then you can. 
put it online. You can add it so you can change the points, you can make lines. And here you can only see the uh, change they did <coughs> regarding line types. You can also add a point, for instance, there is a shop here, there's a shop here, there's here. That's a green area with a playing field. This is a wood, you have here a wood, so you can be very creative in having uh, with that. And then, of course, the last step is when you have all that information, you can run it as a map, and that happens by the global map, street map service. So that's something we're not going to discuss. Okay, maybe you should ask, was the first question that came into my mind when I heard of this project, won't that take forever? You have hundreds, thousands of streets, with all street name, with all a certain position, it's very difficult, <coughs> will that Will it ever come to an end? So I added those images to explain to you, yes, it's really, it's really doable to map the whole world. This is Utrecht in the Netherlands, beginning 2007. So already you had some information. But you see, I suppose the street is not stopping here, so there was still a lot of work to do. At the end of 2007, the Netherlands got um, a package of map material from a big mapping company, from a and And so they, in a very short period, they managed to upgrade their maps in a very, very good way. So clearly see the difference in, all, in a little bit more than half a year. You should say, okay, we have used the information of that big, renowned uh, map maker. This is the end of the story. No, 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 it can even be improved. This is the version of the beginning this year. And you see they added land views, you can see this is grass, uh, I guess, they added a lot more detail and it will, it will continue to uh, become better. Of course, the Netherlands is a region that is quite well uh, Okay, um, this just, so, just shows the uh, amount of nodes, base, and the total length of the database that's raising, that's Logic, it can't really go now. But you can see the last period, it is accelerating, it's going fast. So remember, we had that in Wikipedia, I guess, at the English Wikipedia, I guess, two to four years ago. And now it's going down. Like this project is uh, some years, like some years down. Okay, so we said, uh, what's the difference between Google Maps? This is an, an, an example. This is open cycle maps. This is a specific version that uses the same database, but uses it, uses it to show um, cycle paths. They added also topographical maps, so it's very easy to see how difficult it will be. But it's something you can't do with topographical Another thing you can't do is go in extreme detail. This is clearly somebody with too much time. He, you know, <laughs> no, it's it's university, so they had. They added the whole all the path. wall paths, they even added all the stairs. Well, it's an interesting like, story, it's because it was like for a, a semester a computer science class, they have um, like, want to give students like practical projects, so like, it was like, let's like, not just map the campus, but then you can take it and do custom, um, like, your custom like applications, so like, here it's like, you know, where there are like steps, or where it's steep. And then they built like routing, so okay, like if you're like want to walk from one place to another, how do I get there? And then it's like I'm in a wheelchair, so I can't do steps, so it'll be routed like in a way that's accessible. And like Google Maps, it can do that. Actually, that's my next slide. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Again, something maybe you should think. Okay, adding stairs is. Really necessary. But actually, they're doing the same at a uh, external website. I, mean, I lost the name, but they could, you could say if it's, the building is accessible, accessible. accessible with the wheelchair. So we get a database and it's added to. So, what is left, you will see the shortest distance between A and B for a regular person. And you see if you have a wheelchair, you try to point the stairs. That's the longest. That's something if this very precise mapping would have been happened everywhere, that should be a very big advantage to this. 
So there was, this was more information about OpenStreetMap itself. Now I will give word to Kate if you want okay. to explain a little bit more about mapping with devices like this. Okay, so like, am I, like, can I, like, uh, like, Okay, uh, so I'm just going to do a little, like, Like, this is a problem. 
That's a big one thing with it in street map. Like there aren't many employees like are far smaller budgets so, like it's still like times when the servers like down like Wikipedia had five years ago. Um, this is taking me into hot hot, which is the edit like, editor. And so like once you open it, it'll be available in here so like you can trace from it. Like through like the built-in editor. This uses Flash, but like like some. I mean, this is like. I guess Flash is not 100% open source, but like if you like object to that or want to do like more advanced stuff, then, then we have um, there's like a like multiple like editing programs. There's one that uses Java called Jasm, which is like also Obsidian, which works 100% with Hebrew. Like this one, like does not quite work with Hebrew yet. Do you do you have any idea if there's a project to port all that to something else like HTML5 or something? No, not yet, but like someday like that might be nice, but like this is just like a, it uses, I mean the, the code's open source for this, but like the flash like technology itself is not 100%. Are there any plans to fix the display of Hebrew in the, in the renderer? It, there, still, there, there, are, there are, there are, like I think we need help um, from like, but because like none of, like I know some Arabic, so I'm, like I like help fix like the, so some of it, but like most of the developers or none of them they like, like, you know, know write too much language. Yeah, it is on my yeah. 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 So it's on the to do list to see so basically um, that we're using the Matnik open source software render which which takes data and renders uh, images. Right. And I think they need yeah. help for um, for rendering um, right to left languages. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, there's a bug there, it's displayed wrong. The, all, all the Hebrew text is just way upside down. Ah, so, I mean, it's, it's a very poor user experience for someone from Israel coming into this to see everything wrong. It's sort of a It's working but In the introduction tab, there is a, there is a film uh, which shows how to how to how to okay, now it's yeah. okay. mm -hmm. And there's a lot of data. And it's the track you made and it will only show the track you don't. It's a, the GPS. Okay, so they have a they like putting a lot of time. It's using the Bing images as the background. It's a recent change. It's some sort oh, of okay. gift. So there, so there, there it is. Um, like, uh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Bing images a gift to the well, foundation? No. Well, it's the beginning. You only had Yahoo images that were of worse quality. And of course, Bing is using OpenStreetMap as some sort of, 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 of content. They even hired the founder of OpenStreetMap. So there are something, they are planning to do something with OpenStreetMap. And in return, they gave the Bing images. We could use that as a background. It's actually very nice because this, that way you don't need to run around with the GPS device. You can just follow the lines on the Bing image. Where it's available, and there's something that's so it's, Both parts are really nice. So you have to score the whole world within the region? No, for different resolution resolutions. Yeah. Yeah. Some parts of Israel have a very low resolution. Yeah, so we used to have a resolution. 
So here you see like the blue vines, this was like me running around. And um, the orange dots were like, okay, well, like I was walking around and I want to like, mark a specific place so like just press it and then it, it saves it. Like it can either be like a number and I can write on paper later, like, like what this means or, or like. Still learning, but but then I, I just like I can like see see this and then then I still like snow, but like I can just like trace with the tools to draw like the roots because with the GPS sometimes like it, it like there's some like error and, yeah inaccuracy so it might be a little like squiggly and, and I, I can trace it and make it like straight. And with the imagery helps and the points are here, so it's done with canopy. There are places where on the on the ties of GPS we might help. For example in forest, when we would like to make a part of the road, so they are usually not, not seen on <coughs> so the images and there are no options to either trace and Maps on the hand see the ties is okay within the forest. So, so I mean, that's like one way of doing it. And like if you're around later, we can show you like more, but that's like how it works. And, and you must be careful when you start editing, so you must be careful to choose not so large piece of map because with a larger piece of map the, the, the servers can, can tell you it's large and you cannot download this because it's too, 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 too big and also it, it depends on your co computer but there is plenty of data, plenty of, 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 of points and lines so when you make too large so it takes ages to get this, this picture and then uh, it may just block your computer because of not enough memory. Especially if you have all the stuff. So the best for the beginning is to make the maximum maximum magnification of, of the picture and the edit on the this tiny proportion of Yeah, just a quick recap so you can use whatever you want. I have a friend that gave me the four GPS devices. He's a ultra runner, so he runs two or three marathons after each other. And he decided, okay, I have a GPS device. I will use it to run through all the streets in my city. Well, it's not that big, but it was from three months of work. But he, he loved it, so he, fantastic. Like if you have dogs, you should go out with them each day. First of all, it's a very good auto. It's, it's good. You prevent that people are going to ask stupid questions, but why are you running around with this device? And two, of course, it's actually quite nice. Um, you have two reasons. It's not only uh, walking with your dog, but it's only also um, mapping the cycle is it the same. So, okay, walking papers, we will explain this later on. And I told you about the metadata you should uh, add to the rows, for instance, to the points of interest. Why? That way we ensure that uh, the renderer can render all the things it needed to be. You can see at this um, picture some of the tags that are possible. For instance, this is a harbor wall, man-made. This is a the river, the waterway. This is a pub with the name. It offers food. And it has a nautical decoration. Imagine. This is a highway with a gradient of 25%. And please pay attention, there's a hazard, it's bloody steep. So you, can, you can be very, you can go very far, for instance. This is a memorial, it's a hall, and it has toilets. So, there is a possibility to start a website and um, share the closest, closest, uh, closest toilets, for instance, based on this uh, data. I will show the uh, page of the OpenStreetMaps wiki with a uh, overview of all the tags you can use. For instance, you have the shops, but you have a butcher, you have a flower shop, you have a 
cycle shop, you have a car shop. It's coming up. Yes. Shops, 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 shops. Yeah, an alcohol shop, you have an <coughs> shop. So you can look through this, let's call it database, you say, okay, it's a shop. It's probably a baby good shop. You have a picture to compare it. Then you can tag it in the right way. Um, same thing with the roads. So it's quite difficult to see which type of thing. It's quite extensive, like details, but you can just do like basic roads and then you go road, back. Trunks, primary roads, a secondary, a secondary link road. To, and you can each time compare the road you walked on with a picture or multiple pictures. to help you, for instance, if you should walk around and you, will, you want to be very precise, you can use these types of, of, of papers. So you pass a certain shop, you can add, okay, number in the street, name, what is it? Uh, street, phone, the website, you can add the website, you know, the street, that, that, that too. Is it, if it's a restaurant, is it French cuisine or Italian cuisine? You can go actually very far in this. Same thing with when you what we do tonight is a mapping event. What are the event uh, advantages? Somebody will be present that will show you how you should do it. Probably somebody will have a GPS extra so we can use. You know, you can help you with the answers. And tonight is what? So we're all invited. Now I will tell a little bit more about the combination between Wikipedia and the uh, OpenStreetMap. And I'll show the two different approaches between, for instance, the English Wikipedia and the, and the German Wikipedia. So I'll try this first. Namaku is the capital of anyone? I think Man. So here you have the English Wikipedia and you have the German Wikipedia. You may have noticed this coordination uh, coordinates. Coordinates. The coordinates. Coordinates. The coordinates. The coordinates. They have this globe, and if you click on it on the English one, you will see the Wiki Mini Atlas. It's something that was developed within Wikipedia itself, and it shows the location of uh, the capital. I am not a big fan of this atlas because I am not interested in the German auxiliary cruiser or um, Air France flight 447 it where it went down. So <laughs> there are some breaks in it. And if you so let's zoom. So you'll see there are some streets present and you have some sort of background image uh, from a satellite, so it's quite nice. But concerning the streets well it's actually it's quite poor. If you compare it with the German, we have almost the same system. If you click here, you will see open street maps of the region. And you can see, well, they have uh, some advantage in the level of detail of the street. It's quite good, actually. By the way, they use Bing image in images to do this, and the Bing images, well, but it's not clear, so. Um, but it's quite nice mapping of this. Um, I don't know, do they use different database, so it's not the same uh, street map database for both the English and German version? No, no, it's totally something different. This shows a cached version on an own, on an own server of the OpenStreet data in the English one. They will use uh, maps of the NASA. We're, we're working on yeah, getting like, like the German features in the English, but we have to make it so it's like, scalable and it's not going to break the yeah. servers. So this atlas does not use OpenStreetMap? No. no. What happens if you zoom more? What well, yeah, happens if you zoom there? It uses, it uses um, like um, a U.S. government like imagery called Landsat, which is low resolution. So I mean, it's great for looking at the whole world, but like you start to zoom in and it gets pixelated and, and it's see, it's not good. 
okay, what's the right name, what's the right border. So that are discussions being held on OpenStreetMaps. The same discussions you'll find on Wikipedia. Why don't we work together in, in those kinds of discussions? And of course, already you already told, Wikipedia doesn't have the amount of the doesn't have the power to really be busy with that mapping system. But it's already they are already busy with it at OpenStreetMap. So we can use their knowledge, their experience. And of course we can use the data present in the uh, map database. So I guess and that's my following slide. There are lots of advantages of working together. We are two very similar organizations, so what are we doing? Well, we give the word to Jarl yeah. to explain more into detail the uh, online mapping, so mapping using satellite images and software. Can I ask a question? Uh, yes. Do you, do you have problems with vandalism? Um, in some cases, like, what's well, rare, but like, like I don't know one time I saw like someone who hates America like like totally deleted stuff from Washington, but that was like once and then <laughs> but like I mean really like, like maybe like times and then it is two years. You know to show that? Okay, so there's no like that vandal fighters and uh, vandal anti vandalism tools and all stuff like that. There's no need for it's, that. It's very difficult to like revert like like someone really? who loves scripts, but it, it, it's like we're, so we're, we're, we're working on it. And I know people are. How come become blogging and the leads all of Israel? That's quite well, well, we have like, like back, I mean, like versions like. You no, know, but you said it's difficult to revert their, their edits. Well, uh, we, can, tools, like, we can, for example, uh, revert all your all your uh, change set. Or it's just that, like on Wikipedia, there's like a rollback yeah. button for sure. like people, and there's no such so thing on here. But yeah, the, the user okay. interface is not as convenient as in, in Wikipedia to revert. It's much That's simpler in right. Wikipedia to yeah, just yeah, revert, definitely. and you have to use special tools here. You just just contact like in a more experienced like user and like the lab, yeah. but like, hopefully like we'll get better tools. Like, I have something yeah. more basic. <laughs> In order to edit the, the match, do we have accounts? Yeah, we yes. have to. Think, which probably helps with the end But it takes like. Also, a higher entry barrier. Yes. yes. Um, the difference between Wikipedia and OpenStreetMap is that Wikipedia is basically text, which is much more easier for people to grasp and to do work with. Uh, with OpenStreetMap, the uh, data is geographical, so there's an element of uh, visual. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit more to work with, so the tools are not as advanced as with Wikipedia. And you know, there is quite a lot of originalization, you know, mm -hmm. and you take <coughs> what you have written on a piece of paper and taken from the land, right? Okay, but so then, then Someone should know this area and know that you need something yeah. of this wrong. But yes. usually in that case it's easier to simply uh, edit this part of map again and make some fixation instead of reverting. So again, it's a question. Um, but Wikipedia has different kinds of uh, location things, you know. Does OpenStreetMap have some? Kind of location or any plans, ideas? <coughs> Does it offer a feature or something? <coughs> Localization in any specific language or? I mean, we have this in inter the interfaces in English, right? Oh, um, yeah, I mean, like, well, that's not English. It's Spanish. <laughs> well, like, in this Hebrew, but, like, it's yeah, like Wikipedia, um, like, if you, can, if you want to help change the. Okay, uh, so we have different languages. Um, so, yeah. how do you translate or, I mean, uh, which interface do you use translate? And interface is uh, translated on TranslateWiki. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can you share, um, I will try to translate uh, in a language in TranslateWiki. Yeah, I can yeah. find it. It's there in TranslateWiki, right? It should be here, if not, like, like right. it can be. Okay, that was good. So my, my, I, I, I made a relatively fresh editor of, 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 of wiki maps. So at the beginning, when I started to draw buildings, so it's a little bit difficult to draw this in proper way, I mean, to, to make it really square because you just use your hands and, and mouse. And I did it, but the, all the buildings were, were a little bit 
strange shape. So then Jan just entered this part of the map, and there is simply simple trick to, to, to make it square as usual, just with one, and then he just drop the agreement saying that how to do this properly, and this part of map he just improved the on the on head of me. So this is the typical behavior in in in, in wiki maps uh, in, in uh, open street map that is now it's different different maybe the access is a little bit more complicated you have to click on edit wait when contact will will be uploaded to your computer etc but uh, people are friendly right so no no one will help you without any that you, you won't receive you know, the template immediately that you did something wrong or anything like this <coughs> Save 
uh, all our changes, uh, it won't be visible because uh, there are no tags in it. In the few, uh, we have uh, added a few tags. Maybe I'll show that. Um, as you can see, uh, we have a name and brand, and when we have when we click advanced, we have a key and value which was um, previously in the presentation and also uh, in the page uh, map features that are uh, <coughs> shown uh, these, uh, these uh, keys okay. and so uh, uh, when we come back to our building we can say that there is no keys and no values and it's a, it's a common mistake for beginners they just upload uh, a raw area without tags and they are frustrated that there's no, 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 nothing hit there ok, so here we have uh, pretty much everything so we just we'll choose building and well, just the usual building uh, let's say we have yeah. uh, yeah. Um, but when you edit, please don't do something like this. Um, is that is that safe, Tori? No. No, no, no. Um, as you can see, here we have a button save in <laughs> Polish. Uh, sorry for that. Again. And here we have a time since last edit. So we can just click uh, save. And here, click a comment, for example. Uh, and the house. This is just like a comment. Yeah. 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 And uh, the, just click save, and there should be uh, should be a pop up that it's saved. So oh, maybe I'll we'll just say that only erase and it's gibberish. Okay. And here we can delete no. Okay, so we have a um, building, so it's quite good. As you can see, uh, the road is not on proper uh, place, so we can fix, fix that. And that. And uh, we have a, a name of a road, so we can, uh, on advanced, See all the tags that are in this way. They are. This is a residential road, and uh, name is Adam Street. And these are the tags uh, from the from the Tiger import, which was which was uh, which is a source in, in the United States. Okay, uh, we can also uh, very easily add. Uh, some more information about this road, maybe uh, this is uh, maybe a bridge, you know, uh, there's a, a pretty, pretty much everything. Well, um, okay, I'll just, okay, we can say it's a two way, two way or, or one way road. But okay, and I will just save save that. Uh, the building and just click save. Well, this this error. Well, it's embarrassing. Um, just like don't money and we'll get that next one. Maybe <laughs> there is some problems with the okay, session. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, maybe something more about interface. Uh, here you have, uh, you can choose a background. Now it's pink, but we can choose uh, as mapnik, so we can see that yeah, this road was slightly moved and there, there's no building. And yeah, as you can see, there there was move. Uh, here you can uh, uh, show 
uh, GPS data, as it was shown uh, just before by Audi. Uh, <coughs> Um, here we have help. It's really nice done. And here we have introduction uh, with, uh, and with a simple movie uh, how to add a point interest as I uh, show uh, adding uh, a petrol station. Uh, yeah, you can, uh, if you are interested, just uh, you can read all the stuff, it's short. You can also use uh, the keyboard shortcuts. It's uh, much easier to, to add it to this. Okay, maybe. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, and changes will be set, so um, uh, at the end uh, of this presentation and there is uh, a chance to, to see the building. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's, that's important that uh, you will not see uh, see things that you add immediately. Uh, uh, that's uh, that's uh, a difference with Wikipedia. Well, uh, you know, on the wiki you just uh, type things and they are uh, they are shown, but here uh, this. Uh, these things are added to an XML file and then it should be converted to the database and then it should be rendered as a, a PNG image so it takes, takes, uh, it takes a time. Okay, that's about um, flash. The second uh, most used uh, editor is uh, JOSM. You can find it just Google JAWS and its first link. Uh, I'll open it. And well, you can download the tested version or latest version, and it's a, a GIR, GIR file. So uh, all editor is uh, just uh, one file. So there's no. <coughs> you just need to. Uh, have uh, a Java environment installed, and that's all. Uh, you can also uh, use uh, online applet of JOSM, but it's um, well, and uh, desktop version is. Uh, just you have to translate the yeah. Okay. Yeah. And well, um, here I have uh, JOSM. I'll just open it. Okay, and this, this using this button, just I can uh, download data uh, to the, um, the editor. You can also uh, Uh, when you hover it, you can also um, click uh, Edit with Remote Control, uh, with, and um, using that you can edit uh, in just on the Just if you uh, click on it, just uh, it will it will open JAWS and uh, download all the data. Okay. Um, here I have uh, have a, a city of Akko and uh, something right here is uh, it's a high one. So I can just download some area. Uh, it's not working. Check this. It will download uh, OpenStreetMap data, and here you can download the GPS uh, data you have uh, uploaded to, uh, to the OSM. 
Okay, I'll do I'll download both of them. There are sometimes problems when you map an area on which there are already plenty of uh, of, of G GPS traces, so then you are thinking which one is yours and if you would like to use only your one, so you can just uh, f uh, load to f uh, f uh, Johnson only your own uh, trace and get rid of the others. Okay, so here is the uh, main screen of uh, Johnson. Um, it may look uh, pretty complicated, but it's rather easy to use. Okay. Use all, all these traces of other people. Yeah. Um, so uh, here I can uh, disable and, uh, OSM data, and here we have only GPS traces. As you can see, it's, it's very nice now. I can. Okay, now it's only uh, OSM data. I can also add a background. <coughs> For example, being sub satellite. Well, as really you can see, it's a uh, low resolution, very low. So, well, it's not not usable, but well, few meters away, <laughs> there is a well, much better. Uh, I don't have any data here, so maybe I will. I will download some yeah, awesome data here. So here we have. Okay, um, maybe I'll add a row. Okay. We need to change to onto a draw, draw mode. So as before, just click, and that's it. Okay, now I will change to uh, select mode. It's on the keyboard shape shortcut A and S. If you want to use JAWS in there, it's worth to remember because it's much easier to uh, to operate in JAWS using the uh, keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so here we have a row. So uh, as you can see. Uh, there is a new object in the outro panel. There is a way with three nodes, and there are uh, no tags actually. So I can add uh, maybe it's an unclassified row. Uh, uh, I will add some name, and uh, maybe with two legs, max speed 80. Okay, just click and you here uh, have a list of tasks and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's this. Okay, so maybe I'll add this row, just delete and just uncertain information. And here, here we have a download and here we have an upload. So. Uh, here we have a quick, quick debugger and that will show us uh, what needs to be corrected and uh, it shows that we have an uh, unnamed, uh, unnamed uh, highway ok, I will continue upload yeah, and uh, as, as previously just um, some, uh, some text that will summarize Changes. And upload. Yeah. And it's done. Okay. So let me. Okay. Um, okay. We have run out of time, so I will uh, tell uh, maybe a minute about uh, mobile applications. There is a great uh, app for iPhone and Android phones with Mapsen. 
it's you can just download it from App Store or Android uh, Market. It's free and uh, it just uh, if you have a GPS, just open and the application and you have a map when you just click at the point and uh, and uh, on iPhone or, or HTC on some other just add a point and it's, it's very easy to add a uh, the point of interest just just click save and that's it okay so um, maybe I will log out for a minute and If you want to register on which one did you get? Um, you can uh, use an uh, open ID account, uh, for example from uh, from Google. Uh, so there is no no big deal with with uh, OpenStreetMap account. You just need to uh, remember that even if you op uh, use open ID, uh, better to set a password because you will uh, there may be changes with uh, logging to OpenSIPA forum or um, or using some some services based on OpenSIPA. So uh, I think that's that's it for now. That's almost the end of the presentation. Does anyone have questions at this yeah. point? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, political uh, or ideological issues? Like if there's a border that uh, some people uh, claim that it's here or it's there, or a monument that they have uh, different names. Um, well, you can, like, I don't know if you can show it there, but like, there are tags, like, like name, like, is like the default, and then you can do name colon at the end for English, name colon for that yeah, easy, and so you can have multiple languages for like, so that's one way of doing it. Um, like, I, I mean, what if there's something that somebody marks that it's there, somebody deletes, the, deletes it and says, no, it's not there, because of ideological disputes. It, 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 is it something that happens or? Um, it, it's rare, but um, like there's, um, I mean, if it's like a political, like, it's like well, in uh, first map you don't have a watch list, so if you have it, you, uh, if you want to see that someone changes, change, uh, well, your your, um, for example, for your monument, you just take a look at the map. So there is no information that someone moved. Um, someone moved to your way or something like that. So I think that, like, like, like one thing I know is like for, for like in Egypt people were wondering or like there's, like, I don't know, like some people wanted to label everything in English like characters and some people want to like everything has to be in Arabic so, and so like they had like on the wiki like a vote saying like oh well, like what do we want to do and it's like Wikipedia consensus. And in extreme cases, like which is very, very rare, like we have like we don't have ARCOM in English, like I mean we have ARCOM, but there's like a data working group that like can try to mediate in those rare cases and try to come up with a compromise. But like I mean it hasn't been like so much of a problem as on like yet. Does that answer the question? And like and, and for like like place name booking maybe you don't do better. I don't know, like, with languages and stuff. I have a question. Yeah? How, uh, how, what are the options to use the offline? Can learn in the PDF? To use the, the desktop software? Well, in, 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 you can download all the data. A lot of sites you can... But how can you download it as well? No, you can download like an app for a, for a mobile phone that has all of these roadmaps. I'm not, ex not exporting it as a... 
There is an export tag. Can it actually be Yes, yeah. XML. Uh, you have uh, four options, as you can see. The raw XML data, uh, uh, images, yeah. And then there's a service, yeah. like if you go to um, like planet.htmf.org and that in the entire world, like, and then load that in your database and whatever the heck you want. Uh, which is like, I think it's like 15, I don't know, so you can put 14 gigabytes compressed, so it's like really big, but there's like some services, um, I think it's GeoFabric, it's not a big deal, but it's like they didn't touch me yet, they had to extract or like, yeah, just Israel, which is much smaller, and then there is there is free software you can download yeah. to, 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 to make your images in the uh, 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 from the raw data from 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 our cells. Or or to bring it to like common yeah. And for example, you can create your own right. image for 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 garden stuff and. Uh, yeah. You have five minutes. I think we have a great deal of other marks with Wi-Fi. I just did it all for Israel here, just to have this in GPS. So maybe there's a nothing party this evening. We have devices we have support from the local committee. So we have someone in the team that speaks, speaks Hebrew. We have in short four, uh, we propose three or four groups. And we have a, a very soft moment of what we will be talking to you. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Very short. You, you see, I them around. It's just an overview of, what, of the existing information and open regions. And you will say, okay, you will pass a certain cafe. You can add information. Okay, there's a new, new restaurant you can add. The restaurant changed its name because there are things we can change, and that way we can improve the office we have. Yeah. In some cases, I walk around and like run in the shop and ask them like, what are their hours or hours? Uh, we would propose to leave at 6:30. <laughs> <laughs> we propose at, at leave at 6:30, so within 40 minutes yeah, before this building, the highest building is. Yeah. 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 And then we can walk around 20 minutes half an hour. The best is to leave at